These Medicine Hat students aren't yet old enough to remember, but their school was built 28 years ago. Amazingly, this three-decade-old building is the newest public school in our city. Its population is cramped, and this year two portable buildings were needed to hold the growing number of students. The public school board says it's a short-term solution. We have to start thinking long-term and recognize that if we don't get any approval, we just get further and further behind. Hashizumi says two new elementary schools are badly needed in the number 76 district, one in Ranchlands and another in the Hamptons. But she is not the only one looking for new buildings. We are in desperate need for new space here in Medicine Catholic. The Catholic Division had a new school built in 2004, but says they're still at a maximum capacity. A school is classified by the Alberta government as full if it has an 85 percent utilization rate. Leahy says the Catholic School Board's overall rate stretches to the ceiling, with some schools far exceeding that number. I'm recognizing it's just not a Medicine Hat Catholic issue. It, it's, it's an issue throughout the city, and it's frustrating to see uh, new buildings going in other communities and that nothing has come into Medicine Hat. Your MLA from Cyprus Medicine Hat admits even he was surprised Medicine Hat is still waiting for new funding. Len Mitzel says he'll look into a number of options for lobbying his government for Medicine Hat cash. Planning some additional meetings with the minister and, and having the minister come down, we, that is, that is uh, a potential thing that we can do and uh, I'll work towards that and I'll also work with my colleague, colleague uh, Rob Renner to, uh, to coordinate this as well. Both Medicine Hat school boards say they'll keep up the pressure if necessary. Uh, the numbers speak for themselves and they're strong numbers and that we're, we're just expecting some action. Jeremy Hunka, Chat News.